Big Bug Ending Explained. A look at a dystopian future set in 2045 was definitely interesting. The ending left a few questions on what on earth we just watched, so I thought I'd explain. Here is Big Bug Ending Explained. Just to let you know, this video will contain spoilers. After we spent the majority of the movie watching this futuristic civilization with the most ridiculous inventions, being locked inside of a house due to the androids uprising, we saw a Yonix come round and claim that it was going to arrest them for a number of reasons that happened throughout the movie. We see the group put their bickering differences aside and find a way to overpower the Yonix. And this was by making themselves essentially invisible, due to the fact that the android was utilizing its heat map vision to sense where they were as part of its vision was destroyed. We see the Yonic eventually get destroyed. This is after witnessing the people in the house having to act like animals on television. There were multiple occasions throughout the show where we saw Yonix's acting superior and the humans acting how we would normally see animals acting. This is also clear at the end of the movie when they're on the table and being made to do tricks. I think this purely comes down to the advanced androids being in the superior position that we often find ourselves in in this planet. The Yonixes view humans as beings that are not worthy and are not on the same intellectual level as what they are. Humans don't offer as much as what Yonixes do, almost how we view animals on the planet. A lot of the time, they don't receive the respect that they deserve and are used for entertainment and murdered for that expense. I think it was shining a light on that throughout the movie, that we may be superior for now, but one day we could become the secondary species on the planet or the beings that aren't shown the respect that they deserve. Once we see the group in the house finally escape after seeing Monique sacrifice herself and the Yonix being destroyed, we see the group get arrested by a large group of Yonixes. Whilst that happens, we see a group of flying drones approach the Yonixes that were placing the group under arrest, and they were all destroyed. I think this highlighted the fact that although the Yonix were designed to never make a mistake and essentially be the very thing that was superior to humans, it showed that even they were prone to error, the very thing that makes people human. Yonixes were designed by a human most likely, and if something's created by a human, then human error could potentially exist. We saw this being talked about a lot in the movie, dreams making people human, error making people human, and humor and jokes, and it would often tie into the robot's desire to be human. The sacrifice that Monique made showed it really didn't matter what you were to be seen on the same level as one. She had this desire throughout the entirety of the movie to be human. She dreamed of being one, and in the end, she ultimately did the bravest thing anybody would do, and that was sacrifice herself, and it felt like there was an emotional weight behind it. I think the drastic divide in the types of characters that we had throughout the movie showed the polar opposite nature of what makes somebody a human, and that it isn't a one-size-fits-all approach. I think as well, the build-up to the ending is a look at the direction in which civilization is heading in. Yes, a far drastic version, but the personalized ads that would be outside people's houses show just how intrusive they can feel. And it's what we currently go through when we're scrolling on social media. Ads being shouted at us. We also saw technology that was created for the most easiest of tasks. It shows the direction that we're heading in and the somewhat lazy society that we could potentially become. When the Yonixes were destroyed at the end, it almost shines a light on the fact that the mass-produced implementation of technology, such as the Yonixes, are bad for society. We see that human connection in the movie is something that allowed the group to reach success and overthrow the situation that they were in. I don't think there's anything in the fact that Victor and Alice were back together at the end. I personally just think it's how the situation unfolded. There were many ridiculous things in that movie, and them being put together at the end just brought that to light even more. It's an interesting, insightful, yet ridiculous movie that was extremely dramatic, and although very long, it was an experience for certain. What did you think of this movie? Did you enjoy it? Leave a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time.